Hello there and welcome back. I'm Mrs. O. For those of you new to my channel, I'm here to support my parents, students, and teachers. And today, teachers, I'm here to share with you another great presentation tool, Classroom Screen. It is a free and easy to use presentation tool where you can display lesson instructions in a visually appealing way. With Classroom Screen, you have many options to customize your screen. So if you're used to displaying a Bitmoji Classroom to get your lessons off to a great start and you're interested in switching up your presentations a bit, then check this out. Once you log on to ClassroomScreen.com, you'll end up on this homepage. Click Launch Classroom and you end up on an automatically generated screen display. At the bottom of the screen, we have the widgets displayed. You have a variety of widgets that will make your display more interactive and engaging. Now this background is cute and I do like Bambi, but if you're not into Bambi, let's take a look at some other background options. Here to the left, we have background, simply click on it and you have options, photos, animations, colors, winter scenes, and depending on your theme, perhaps you'd wanna upload your own. So let's go with the happy theme. We're so close to winter break and I know everybody's excited for the break. So let's choose this as a background. Next, we have the random name selector. So when asking a question, just simply select it and it will randomly choose a student to answer. What's neat about it is once you've entered the names and saved them to your list, it ensures that students are called on randomly. Select choose and then a student's name pops up. It keeps students on their toes because they never know when their name might just pop up. Another thing that I like about the random name selector is that when you click this settings option here, additional options appear. Selecting this button allows the system to remember students who have already been chosen to ensure that each student has been called on. When playing a game and you're in need of dice, select the dice widget and you have a choice of one, two, or three. And they've even included sound effects. Are you finding it a bit challenging to control the noise level in the room? Or you're just tired of reminding students to keep it down? Allow the sound level widget to assist. It allows you to set the sensitivity level as well as the max noise level. Simply enable the bell and once students reach a max, then they'll receive a reminder. Next up is one of my, oh, forgot to turn that off. As I was saying, next we have one of my favorites, which is the media option, which allows you to insert images, YouTube videos, webcam, and embed. Let's take a look at what it looks like when inserting a YouTube video. All you need is a web address. Once you've located it, simply paste it here and hit enter. And there we have it. Here we see one of many possibilities. So imagine you can have a video or pre-recorded lesson set and ready to play as students enter class, whether virtually, face-to-face, -face, or simultaneous. And you don't have to say a word. Just press play. Next, we have a QR code where you can simply enter a link that will direct students to an activity or another web page by simply scanning. We also have a drawing tool that allows you to select different colors, thickness, and erase. You can also add text by typing. And for some added flair, you can also change the color. The work symbols and traffic light comes in handy too. With a simple click of the button, you can alert students to perform different actions. Selecting work symbols allows you to remind students to remain silent, whisper, ask a neighbor, or work together. Assign meaning to the colors of the traffic light, signaling to students when to start work, the time remaining, and when to stop an activity. Do you need a reminder to keep you and your students on schedule and to keep track of time? Well, you have three options with the timer, stopwatch, and clock. And with the clock, you have a 12 or 24 hour display option. Even a calendar is available to help you and your students keep track of the dates. If you have an active board and are teaching students face-to-face, -face, you'll enjoy using the polling feature that can be found on the home page. Towards the bottom, select new poll and a quick, what did you think of today's lesson will automatically be generated. And students can simply make their selection on their way out the door. Oh, thank you, you all are just too kind. And while you're at it, take a little time to let me know your thoughts about Classroom Screen by typing your comment down below. But we're not quite done yet. Here are a few examples of what you can do with Classroom Screen. When opening up your lesson, you can post a message, include a warm-up activity, work symbols to set class expectations, 
a countdown timer letting students know when class will begin, and also a calendar to display the date. Here's another example of how you can use Classroom Screen to organize your groups and display group assignments so that every student knows just where to go and what to do, and not to forget to include a timer to keep students on track. And before students leave for the day, think about setting up a closing display that includes information regarding homework, a ticket out the lesson, and other important reminders. And include a cute background pic just for fun. Well, that's a wrap. And thank you for watching. I hope you give Classroom Screen a try. And to continue to support my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. Until next time, take care.